<laughs> they said it. Welcome back, everybody, to my WandaVision series. This is talking about episode 8 of WandaVision. So if you have not seen episode 8 of WandaVision, then leave. Side note, real quick. I just want you guys to know that those stutters are not fake. I just get so excited when talking about this stuff, and I am like a, 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 a record that just skips, and I don't know why, so I'm sorry. Anyway, that is your spoiler warning if you don't care about spoilers or you've seen the episode please feel free to watch if you care about spoilers then go away and come back after you've watched the episode okay so there's not a whole lot to unpack in this episode it's mainly just wanda going through all of her trauma and reliving it which is so sad like i Wanda is such a tragic character. She has been through so much shit, and we finally get to actually see some of it. Like, we see when her parents died. We see when she got exposed to the Infinity Stone. And I, there's six of them. I don't remember which one the yellow one was. I think it's, I think that's the Mind Stone. Which, one thing I missed, because I've watched this episode twice now, because I missed some stuff the first go-round, because I watched it before work. And that scene is really cool, because when the thing, like, explodes, and she's just exposed to the Infinity Stone, she actually sees the silhouette of the Scarlet Witch as we know her. Like this. She sees that. She sees the silhouette of that. Which ties back into something that gets said later. But we also now see what the importance of all the sitcom stuff is. And that is that basically sitcoms were just her way of escapism. She would watch sitcoms to just not be where she is. One thing I didn't catch the first go-round watching this episode. And realized that the second go-round. And that is that Wanda was not and if this was explained in age of ultron i apologize if i don't remember i've I, it's been a long time since i watched age of ultron but wanda was not given her powers by the stone she already had them because agatha even refers to her as a baby witch you did some sort of hex to make the bomb not explode which wanda didn't even realize that she did i feel like she's still not convinced that that's what she did but agatha's like yeah you 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 made that bomb not explode the stone just like enhanced everything to to where she is now speaking of agatha i don't know how to read her now because at first at the at the end of the last episode where it was like you know we got her theme song and made her just the flat out villain but at the start of this episode they give us like a backstory and i mean so she obviously killed her whole coven that's clear but what did she do to make them entrap her i'm assuming she just went past their rules and learned stuff she wasn't supposed to know because that's kind of what they said. No shit. But what is the reason why she wants to know what Wanda is? Is it just curiosity? Like, why is this random lady just able to do all this stuff without training? Why is, is it just curiosity? Or is she wanting to drain Wanda of all that she has, like she did with her coven? At least that's what I'm assuming she did to her coven. No shit. And she's talking to the rabbit, which makes me wonder if that actually is Nicholas Scratch in the form of a rabbit for some reason, or if she's just talking to it the way that people talk to pets. Because I do that with my cats. We now do see, though, who the, who the actual villain of this whole thing is, and that is director Tyler Hayward. Of course, this douchebag's name is 
Tyler. But he set Wanda up. She didn't steal shit. She created this version of Vision. Just poof, he's here now. And I, the the mid credit scene, which there is another one here, I didn't know anything. Apparently, like, white vision is a thing. I, I didn't know about that until after this episode. So I know zilch about snow vision here. So I, I don't know if like that is its own thing or if they're gonna or if basically this is going to be Ultron. Like Ultron coming back into what he was always meant to be in, which is Vision's body. And for the people who know the comic books, if that's way off base, I'm I'm not sorry. I <laughs> I mean I like I don't know anything about this version of Vision, so I don't know what they're going to do with it. I don't know if it's its own villain. I'm assuming it's going to be a villain because of that big reveal, but I don't know. I'm excited to see what they're going to do with that. But, I mean, obviously Wanda is going to have to throw down with it. And so she's not only going to have to kill something that looks like Vision, but she's also... The, the hex around Westfield is going to have to come west view westfield west view is going to have to come down and when it does vision is gone like he's going to die too so she's basically going to have to kill vision twice three times unless they put vision that the vision that she made unless they put him inside of snow vision and Vision comes back. I really just don't want to lose Paul Bettany. Is what I'm saying. I don't want to lose Paul Bettany. So if they are going to keep Vision around. That would be how they do it. They take fake Vision. And put it in Snow Vision. Snow Vision. White Vision. I don't I don't know what he's called. I'm going to call him Snow Vision. So yeah. This wasn't like a very plot. This episode did not move the plot forward much. It basically was just progressing Wanda's character growth and her arc. This was very much a character-centric episode, not so much a plot one. So the biggest takeaway from this is the fact that we get the name Scarlet Witch. They finally say it, and my... Oh, it was so... Oh, it felt so good. And that scene also leads back to me not really knowing what's going on with Agatha, because one... I mean, she's she has Tommy and Billy strung up by their necks right now. So, I mean, in her mind, they're not real anyway, right? Unless she knows that they are. I, I, I don't know. But she has them strung up by her neck, their necks. So, either she's just being evil or she's just terrified of Wanda. She even tells Wanda that she's not supposed to exist. She's supposed to be a myth. So I'm sure that her brain is just racking around at 300 miles an hour. And so she's just afraid. Or she's wanting to drain Wanda of all of that. So yeah, there's not there's not a whole, whole lot to talk about in this episode. It's just... Fuck Hayward. Because he's a lying bastard. He just... He, 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 he he's a monster. Agatha, sti- I feel like pe- anybody who watches this is going to be like, what do you mean you don't know how to feel about Agatha? She's bad. But like, probably, but in the comics, she trains Wanda. Like, she trains her in magic. And at the start of this, she was like, how do you not know all of these fundamentals about magic? So, I don't know if that's the route they're going to do. Granted, Agatha even while training Wanda, is evil, she still she still trains her nonetheless. And they said Scarlet Witch, which was just... It just made me happy. Plus, there's Snow Vision, which I'm interested to see. I'm really interested. Because th- we have one episode left. This is it. We have the finale. And so I'm just very... Excited to see how they end this. 
But that's all I really have to say about this episode. Did you watch episode 8 of WandaVision? If you did, what did you think about it? What do you think is going to happen between Agatha and Wanda? What do you think is going to happen with Snow Vision and or regular Vision? Do you think Hayward is just... He hopefully dies, because I hope he dies. And who do you think this secret surprise actor is going to be? Because I already know it's going to be this astrophysicist that Paul Bettany has been saying that he's excited to work with. Who is it going to be? Still holding on to Reed Richards, but I don't know. This episode is going to, going to be leading, apparently, right into Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. So, this is I already know this is going to be an insane episode. If you've made it this far, go ahead and check out my social media. The links to all of that will be down in the description. But before you do anything, go ahead and hit the like and the subscribe so that I can see you guys next time.